You okay with that, buddy? Good, because you're coming home with me. Some of you have seen my Facebook posts about the situation I'm in. Um, I'm, I rented a house. I pay $2,100 a month for this house. I had to buy my own washer and dryer. And there was, uh, I mean, I don't even know where to start. There are so many things with this house. And yes, I took video. I've taken pictures of, you know, inspected like when I moved in. And there was a lot of, um, um, what's the word? Um, cosmetic things that I was like, I'm not too worried about that. I even talked to the landlords about, you know, restaining the doors and replacing some broken mirror panel, like little things like that. Like I was down for it. Okay. Cause I like the house. I like the location. I like the size of the property. So I early on made a list of things, presented that to them. They came over to the house. They made a copy for me, a copy for them. I sent a copy with them, but they would not put a signature on it. Well, here's the weird situation is I have dealt with the daughter of the mom who actually owns the property and is technically the landlord, but I've only really dealt with the daughter except the mom was here when I signed the lease and the mom came here one more time when a bunch of electrical outlets had to be um, changed out. And so I pay the rent to the daughter. All of my communication through texts is with the daughter, but she claims she's not the property manager. She has nothing to do with it. It's all her mom. But her mom has no email. Her mom doesn't do texts. So I would have to write a letter and put it in the mail to communicate with her mother. So I communicate with her. And I asked her for an email. She would not give me one. Um, so I have sent these big, long texts with my information. Then they called me yesterday. Like, we have been waiting for over a month now to get the electric panel situation dealt with. Two electricians said, yes, the breaker panel is bad. It needs to be changed out. Because what happens is if a circuit gets overloaded, it does not trip the breaker. It instead then heats up the wall, which can result in a fire. It is a fire hazard. Well, I finally am at a breaking point with all of the repair people, all of the things that I've had to handle, all of the schedules I've had to move around and change. And, and, and I've fixed many things myself, as I discussed with them that I would. So I asked for a little compensation. I said, you know, how about... Like just one month's rent. Oh no. Oh no. They called me and pretty much went off on me and told me if I don't like it here, I can just move. And that I better pay my rent. And then accused me of not being able to afford my rent. And that's why I was doing this. Which is not the case at all. Um, but yeah, they got really defensive and then told me that they were just changing the electric panel as a courtesy to me that the electrician didn't say it was a fire hazard. They've talked to two electricians. They, did, they were just doing it as a courtesy to me. What landlord is going to spend thousands of dollars to change out an electric panel unless it's necessary? Okay, I'm just saying. Um, so I just don't even know what to do. It, like... I got nine months left in this lease. They did say on the phone they would let me out of the lease. Told me just to move, go find another place. But I know I won't get back my deposits. I don't have the money to move right now. So I feel like I just am going to live here in limbo. In limbo for a while. Which is pretty unsettling. I wish I could buy, but I can't buy right now. I don't have a down payment. I don't qualify for the programs that help with a down payment. My stress level is kind of topping out. Um, so, yeah, so I, I've got to sell some stuff. 
I've got to sell some. I got to get my mind on business. I got to get busy. I got to sell so that I can buy my own place because I am tired of landlords. Hey, I would be a really good landlord. Maybe that should be my goal is to get some rental properties so I could treat some people like human beings. Like I wouldn't want somebody else to live in a house that I wouldn't want to live in myself. Um, I'm pretty sure these landlords here would not live in this house. They live in an area called Desert Shores, which is pretty, pretty hoity-toity. Um, they wouldn't live in this house under these conditions. There's no way. But they expect a tenant to, and for that tenant to pay a premium rent and not expect to have a proper house. Anyway, I'm like the best tenant they could ask for. I mean, I put my own money into a place. I pay my rent on time. I don't bother my neighbors. I'm like, but, okay, I'm just rambling now. I need to get up. I need to get busy. I need to make some money so I can buy my own place. That's it. I am at the Antique Mall of America, which is where I have my booths and sell some of my larger stuff that I don't want to ship and just, and sometimes it's things that are just, there's not enough value in it to spend the time listing. So I bring a lot of that stuff down to my booth and I do quite well here. Let's get inside and see what we can find. So I found this little guy here. It is an owl. It's kind of cool. And it says on their tag that he is from the 1970s. I'm calling it a charm ornament. It could be a pendant, though. Now, this booth is 30% off. So, oh, he's got one little boo-boo there. But 30% um, off, that's going to make it what? <sighs> Math. That's going to make it... Like, around six bucks? Yeah. So, I'm going to get him. Okay, I absolutely love this old print. It's uh, a mother and a little girl, and they're rocking the baby in the cradle. I used to collect mother and child art. They're saying this one is from the 1930s. I love how this dealer puts the descriptions on everything. $30 is a really good price. And it's 30% off, so it's only like $21. Ah, decisions, decisions. Actually, it's 35% off. I had it wrong. There we go. Okay, I'm going to think about that one because I really like it. This little shelf looks like it could reveal some goodies. And we're still in the 35% off dealer's stuff. Let's check this little guy. He's got his tag. He's 19. Mm, so he'd be like 13 14 dollars. I don't think I can do him for that, but he is cute. Now, I spotted these guys, and the reason they caught my attention is I'm actually looking for Pepe Le Pew. But I don't see any in there today. Okay, this is something I don't think I have ever seen. A horse nodding. I love this. And he's only $10. I'm going to get him. You okay with that, buddy? Good. Because you're coming home with me. Oh, look what I found. I found. And I have no hands. I literally have no hands. This is another little miniature piece. I haven't looked at the bottom yet, but it looks like it could be Murano. I'm going to take a peek. Where is the bottom? Now, they do have the label over it. But it is a clear, polished pontal. And you know what? For only $8, even if it's not, that's a great little piece. I'm going to grab it. Ooh, look at him. I almost thought it was a shark at first, but it's not. It is a, it is a fish. It's, 
15 is a really good price for that. But I'm really I'm starting to rethink the things I'm buying and shipping a little bit more. So I think I'm going to pass on it. But super cool at a super cool price. I found another sale booth. And I spotted this. Now he's just, he's not, he's resin. He's made to look like Lalique or whatever, but, so what is that, 25% off of $29.50. I sure do like him. So that's, ugh, I hate math. <laughs> what is 25% off? He's uh, 30 divided by 4. So he's like, I'm going to say what? He's like 7 bucks. Oh, 22. Mmm. He's calling to me. He's calling to me. I'm going to think about that for a minute. I really shouldn't be buying all this stuff for myself. Ooh. It's very purple, but it's very large. I'm looking for purple because I'm going to do the purple sale. I'm about halfway there on inventory for a purple sale, so... That is one of my quests, but I don't see anything else in here that fits into the purple theme. So I will move along. This is so cool. This is the kind of thing that if I had a space in my house, I would do this. It's, they're just little, you know, styrofoam, egg, but the nest, oh my gosh, it's only $25 for that whole that's awesome. I just simply have no place to put that. Or I totally would. That's my decorating style right there. Okay, there's music in this booth right behind me, but I just found this. It is a jar of vintage birds. And right there, there's a mercury glass ornament. And that alone is worth 16 bucks. So I am going to grab the whole jar for 16 bucks. And of course, I'm at my booth, which, look it, I still have Christmas highlighted. I really need to get this whole booth, like, revamped. But what I need to do is run a sale first. So I am putting up signs, and I am going to put everything on sale, pare it down, and then come back in a couple of weeks and stock it all back up. That's the plan. But I am going to grab a couple of my purple items to go home and be in the purple sale. Like that one, and that one, and that one. Oh, I have more purple than I thought I had. Cool. All right. These are just about the cutest things I think I've ever seen. They're little, little pigs with tutus. Little pigs with tutus. They don't have a name on them. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. But they're just plain on the bottom. Anybody know who done these? I love them. Dance pig. About $15 each. I just don't know. This is kind of sad because I really love this booth. So we're going to look and see what's 60% off in this booth. That oh, I see some corn that I'm going to look at. I like this dish right here. I like that. It's almost purple, right? It's kind of purple pink. All right, I'm stretching it. It's pink. I'm just still looking for stuff so I can have that purple sale. So I might, I might have to put a little purplish pink stuff in there. But, oh my gosh, look at that dress. That's great colors. Look at that colors. It looks like silk. Oh, that... That is groovy. All right, I am going to dig around in here and see what I can find for 60% off. I know she's got treasures inside of there too. All right, let me see what I can find. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's big chunks. Look at it, there's big chunks. Can you see it right there?
Luigi? Yeah. There's like big chunks of ice all over the road. Ain't this fun? All right, gotta turn it off now so we don't show everybody where we live. Be throwing snowballs at me. There's actually enough to make snowballs? Oh my gosh. This just happened. This just, this just happened. It's, it's hail. Oh no, I'm just going to throw another snowball at me. Ah! <laughs> How do kids always find the fun in this stuff? Okay, that's, that's enough. You got me. Yes. <laughs> you got me. Oh, he's a cute little snowman. <laughs> That's a Vegas snowman right there. Um, I was actually here the other day and I'm back because it's two levels and I only got through level one and I got some goodies. And now I'm here to go through level two and find some more goodies. I'm still on the hunt for purple things for an upcoming purple live sale that I'm gonna do. So I need to go and straighten up my upstairs booth and see what's going on there as well as go on a little treasure hunt. So, all right. Oh, it's nice and quiet up here. I like that. I'm gonna have to talk over. Every, every now and then there's a booth that has music, but oh, look. This actually has its original sticker that says Royal Gallery made in Poland. And a lot of times we see this and it looks like Murano or Chalet glass. So, but see, I, you can see under the tag there, there's a little divot in the pontal. And that would be a clue. It's not Murano. Pretty piece though. I really like this tollware. Very pretty. 30, I think it's... 32 made in USSR. Oh, it's Russian. Ooh, very nice. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Ooh. How much did I want for that? $120. Who remembers having one of these? I remember having one of these on the table. You get, you put a little glass of water and then you, he's even got his original box. And then you, you dip his face so that it gets, so that it gets wet. And once this is wet, he keeps bending over and drinking. He's actually filled with Freon in there. Freon. Here's what they used. Here's his, see that's what he does. This is his original box even. This is so cool. That's so cool. That was just that was a flash back to my childhood. Got this pretty piece I just found. Oh, I just love the the green and the peach kind of colors coming together, and it's on a pedestal. You can definitely see the age on it by those little scratches. Um, it looks like Murano, but could also be one of the other companies that made similar items in that time, but it's definitely mid-century and it's only 18 bucks. So I actually just spent a little time fixing up my booth. What I'm trying to do is get this booth down to a manageable amount of stuff that I can close the booth. And I want to bring, I want to bring home these display piece shelves because I can put a lot of stuff on those in my room. Oh, I got a mess down here. I got to fix this corner still. Um, yeah, it's just a mess. Just a mess. And then I have stuff I'm slowly but surely just going to bring home. I'm going to offer it in some of the live sales. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is if I can get, if I can get those shelves out of here, I can bring a whole bunch of art and try and sell. Oh, I've got light bulbs I need to be changed too. Yeah, it's a work in progress. It is always a work in progress, but 
getting there. Am I the only one who really loves these? I don't, I don't, didn't they call them rag rugs? I love these. These are only $15. And I am going to get these for my home. Even though they've got some purple. I don't know if you guys convince me that I need them in the purple sale. I could be convinced. But either way, they're coming with me. I just wanted to give a little update since I actually filmed some of this video. Um, yes, my the electrical issue is fixed and the heating issue is fixed. But then I have this great big flood overflow underneath the kitchen sink and um, discovered that what I was told was an old problem that had been fixed is definitely not a problem that's been fixed so and the pool pump is not working correctly anyway it the list just goes on with this house so i'm just going to put it out there if you know of someone who is a real estate investor in the las vegas area that wants a good tenant on a on a nice property i mean i can afford a good house so I'm your person. I would love to rent until, I mean, at least for a couple, two, three years until I can get in a position to purchase a property. I have some things I have to do to make that happen. But anyway, just going to put it out there. But we're going to keep selling and we're going to keep building. And hey, who knows? Maybe I will just sell enough to have my down payment to overcome some of the issues. So with that, I hope you're doing well. Now go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.